Hello everybody, here I am again, Johnny V with Green Thumbs Chronicles, and I am about to share with you one of the most amazing things I have ever encountered in my lifetime on this planet, okay? I'm not sure if there's any other planets or lifetimes with better or more amazing things than us here on Earth, but I will tell you this right now, I'm about to share. Yeah, somebody, uh oh, it's some alien thing from outer space. Yeah, knock this right over. So, yeah, it's a little crooked. But, okay, everybody okay? Nobody got hurt during that fall? I'm about to share with you the most amazing thing that you have ever seen, and I am doing it because I love to share, okay? And it starts with eating you will never turn down food ever again if you use this sauce it's a sauce like um, I don't know they call it mojo in Spanish I guess other people have attempted to do this but none have in my opinion successfully suc succeeded in making this recipe the way that I make it which I came up with it about four or five years ago, it involves, now write this down, when you make this, it's going to just change your life forever, guaranteed. Because we all know that garlic is antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial, it helps with brain function, blood flow, heart, kidneys, feet, you know, you can hear better, I don't know, garlic, eat one clove a day. If you wanna make this a simple, quick route, Eat one clove of garlic a day, and you will live to be 100, I'm pretty sure. The other thing that I'm going to share with you is that lemons, you know, like any other fruit or citrus, once you open this lemon up, the benefits of it, the vitamin C's and everything, I think they last like up to 25 minutes at max, okay? So, yeah, the vitamin C dissipates. It goes into whatever it goes to. So, you're gonna need, for this recipe, five lemons. The lemons, regardless of the dissipation part of it, they have disinfecting properties just the same. Amazing health properties for health loss, and I mean for health loss, for weight loss, not health loss, for weight loss. And the garlic has the opposite type of qualities. And I'll tell you what garlic has you may know, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Garlic, so many different ways to slice garlic. I was told by my uh, very intelligent son-in-law-to-be that if you cut garlic down the center in this direction, then you can easily pull out the, um, I'm gonna try both ways. But garlic, the reason why I'm even bringing this up, the garlic thing, is that garlic has a whole different set of properties than lemons do. The properties that uh, garlic has is that, see now here's how it looks, it's cross-sectioned. Um, you know, they say it's easier to take these out once it's cross-sectioned like that. So I'm gonna give it a couple taps and see if that's, you know, true. So here I go. Ready? All right, everybody hold on. Nope. It's making a mess. Everything's flying around. But did it come out of its uh, little uh, skin for the most part? Mm. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. It seems to have happened, but I still got to mess with it. I found an amazing way to peel garlic because if you try to peel a lot of garlic, your fingers will get sticky with the enzymes that garlic um, has. But yeah, I guess, you know, you know my son-in-law to be, Mr. T, I call him, uh, you know, cross-section, they are pretty easy to take out, but that's not how I do it. I have a different method, which I think works a little better. It's a little messy. Um, I just simply put up my garlic clove in a baggie, a Ziploc, and I beat it to death. Yes, sir, that's, uh, don't take that the wrong way. I beat the garlic to death until you know, all the garlic is um, out of its skin. 
Now, the problem I'm having here with the way that my son-in-law told me to do this is that I have to find each one and then I have two of these to, um, to do. So here's what I did. Of course, you gotta follow me a little bit here. I'm gonna try to switch this thing around, move it around, there we go. I'm first gonna go over here to the sink and watch my fingers because I will tell you those enzymes that garlic has, if you peel more than one or two of them, you're looking at a very sticky set of fingers that you can't peel any more garlic because of that, okay? So, this is something you're gonna need anyway. I'm gonna bring it out now. You're gonna need some olive oil, okay? Yeah. Organic, extra virgin olive oil. All sounds good to me. But the best thing you can do before you start peeling garlic with your hands is pour a little bit on your fingertips. And let me tell you, you know, the skin of the garlic, it doesn't like you as much. See, look at this, I'm just sliding it through my fingers. So yeah, it's a little easier to handle. And uh, there's one of my ingenious uh, kitchen ideas that I came up with all by myself. Imagine that, Mr. Johnny Me Mechanic, working on motorcycles, working on cars, working on the roof, working on the ceiling, working on the, you know, garage floor. I am the man that handles just about everything throughout the day, and now, I am going to show you how to make this amazing recipe that you will never, ever, 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 and I repeat that, you will never turn down any food. I'm talking rice, beans, spaghetti. Um, you know, when you put sauce on spaghetti, it kind of takes over, you know? Sauce on spaghetti, uh, you know, you're eating the sauce, okay, for the taste. The spaghetti is just there for accompaniment, so it seems. The spaghetti really by itself has no taste. I don't know, any macaroni. It's not really a tasty thing. So what I have done now is I've peeled one clove of garlic. I just want to share some of this stuff with you. And um, I think my, my method is better for this reason and this reason alone. This is the most important thing you will ever learn about any vegetable, and I know about garlic, I picked it up from a couple of websites, I'm not sure when or why, but in the past, um, yeah, there were some websites that um, had some garlic information on them, and here's what it is, okay? When you crush garlic, five minutes after, the opposite of what happens with a lemon, lemons, five minutes after, or whatever, 50 minutes, whatever it is, they lose their health benefits, okay? Just like having, um, you know, um, Trump in office. You know, you lose your health benefits. It kind of looks like Trump. You know, the yellow head and everything. So anyway, let's not get sidetracked here. This is more important than politics. Garlic, on the other hand, when you crush garlic, five minutes after you crush garlic, is when the enzymes, the potent enzymes, antibacterial, antiviral, anti, um, I don't know, what's the anti, other anti, antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial, all the health things that help your brain function, hair grow, nails grow, it helps with um, bowel movements, intestinal issues, garlic, okay? It helps with, I don't know, everything on the planet, garlic cancer preventative, uh, life extender, garlic only works properly after five minutes of being crushed. So you have to crush garlic for it to have the special effects. Now lemon, even though it loses its you know, health benefits after whatever it is, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes after having been sliced like a citrus does, any citrus, um, the lemon still will have its disinfectant properties because of the citrus uh, nature of it. So I'm using this lemon. I got five lemons here, five. I'm gonna just show you how to use two and I'll finish my recipe later without the video so that I can continue. But I'm gonna take that, that garlic clove that I just cut up right here 
There they are. There's my little garlics. That's it right there. See that? Mm -hmm. There's my lemons. And I am about to show you a secret that you may or may not know. We can call it mojo. You can call it whatever you want. All I know is that all I know is that when I make it, the way I make it, there is no food in the house that you cannot recook, that you cannot eat, even ordering out when you go to any restaurant does not compare to this recipe that I'm about to share with the rest of the world. And yeah, and anything in outer space. Take a lemon. I'm going to slice the lemon. I am going to squeeze the lemon in one of these little squeezy things right here. Squeeze the lemon. Let's see if I can turn this down just a little bit so people can actually see what 